Hi, welcome to Social Research Insights. Uh, my name is Kamaksha Musnuru. I am Principal Consultant at Social Research Insights. Social Research Insights is uh, not a business organization. It is just a freelance training outfit. We provide training uh, related to data science, analytics and IoT. Uh, this is one of my video demonstrations which uh, related to web development using Python programming language. Uh, I'm going to create a series of uh, video casts as how to use the Python for web development um, because Python has wonderful uh, web development frameworks. I like Zango sometimes. People also call this Zango, uh, uh, D Zango or something like that. But uh, I am very comfortable calling uh, pronouncing it as Zango instead of this Zango. If you want to know something about this Zango, uh, you better go to the uh, Python. You can just write it as uh, um, let me Zango, 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 Python, something like that. And I think the very first uh, you can uh, link in your web browser must be related to the Zango. This is the spelling for the Zang Z D Z A N Z O something like that. the web framework for perfectionist with deadlines something like that. Okay, you have a wonderful blog or portal, or I can say the website for Zango web framework, uh, which is um, which is a high level Python web framework uh, that which encourages rapid development for a clean and pragmatic design i'm just re reading these statements written here okay and um, uh, how to start with uh, zango development i mean web development using zango web framework using python program so the very first thing you need to go to the terminal and you can launch the terminal by by the way i'm using this uh, development tools uh, inside Ubuntu uh, 18.04, which is uh, the recent operating Ubuntu operating Ubuntu distribution, um, which is uh, supposed to be delivered in 29th of this month, but I installed beta version. Uh, you can also, if you're interested, you can also install because we recommend open source tools for all of our uh, training and teaching purposes. Uh, we teach data, data science, analytics, and IoT. And uh, Linux distributions are wonderful. I mean, provides wonderful mechanisms to um, involve, develop, and uh, also uh, participate in, uh, in 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 a lot of uh, coding activity. Uh, to install Zango, you just have to either you can use pip. Mm, I have pip three okay and also pip i have both pip pip say pip 3 pip st is for 2.7 and pip 3 is for i have 3.6 in my ubuntu machine uh, by the way let me tell you P python 3 is the default programming language when you install ubuntu 18.04 so that is actually a blessing in disguise um, uh, one more extra advantage of using ubuntu Earlier, in when I installed Ubuntu 16.04, Python 2.7 was the default, and I I need to I need to install Python 3.6. Um, additionally, when I when I thought of working with uh, uh, Python version 3, um, but whereas when you install Python, uh, I mean Ubuntu 18.04. Uh, Python 3 is a default programming language. You don't need to. You can straight away go like Python 3. Uh, I think you can, yeah. sudo apt get or apt install, whatever it is. Um, the way you are comfortable. 3 Zango. That's all. So once you install Zango, Zango will, Python will try to retrieve all the packages that are important. I mean, precursors. As a matter of dependencies, so it retrieve all the dependencies and try to install in your system. So you don't need to uh, worry about the dependencies. Uh, you just have to press enter. But I have Zango in my computer. Uh, to know if you have Zango or not, you just have to write Zango. 
and press tab button which is located the left upper corner of your keyboard and then uh, the Ubuntu or the terminal must be able to f fill the rest of the statement automatically then it simply means that you have Zango properly installed in your computer so to create uh, the project in Zango or to start web development using Zango so first you need to be very careful about the location it's always proper to have I already have a location I think I don't have here I, okay I'll try to create a uh, directory sudo mkdir uh, Zango work I think that is sufficient that's okay ls l i think i have here zango work so now i'll i'll try to put all my uh, work i'll try to see that all my work goes to this whenever i would like to do some development i have to come to this uh, directory that is the primary purpose of creating this directory in my home directory like you can see here i'm in my home uh, cd zango Zango work now you can kick start uh, your project uh, the very first important step in 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 starting the web development is Zango admin start or you can just see so what are the different statements available to execute along with this uh, command Zango dash admin so this is what exactly I'm talking about first we start the project then we'll go to the app so that is how we kickstart the project Zango first let me clean clear Zango admin start you don't start it um, I mean you cannot fill the rest of the statement by merely pressing the tab button start project start project I think I don't know I forgot let me see start project okay Zango admin start project uh, my website okay I think that will do everything oh I'm sorry I have to take the super user do privileges which means I need to execute the statement with admin privileges if we'd like to do that uh, that in Ubuntu we have to make use of so do super user do stands for super user do something like okay the ubuntu i mean the terminal must be silent which means it has it had done some work for you now go and see what is there in your newly created directory zango work i think zango has created a, a folder called my website right let's get into this um, project and see what is there inside i think we have a file called manage.py and again we have the same uh, I mean another uh, folder with the same name my website um, if you want to know something about what is I mean what are the possible ways to work with manage you can just simply Python 3 since we are will be using Python 3 manage.py and press enter and it will list out all the possible ways or the different commands we can make use we, we can use along with the so we need a particular command called run server so this is we had installed the basic infrastructure by simply executing this command uh, what is that um, zango admin install project my website um, and let's see what is there in this um, I think I'll already shown you. Ah, let's go inside my website and see what are the different ingredients that we can. Yeah, settings py, URL spy, WSJ file, something like that. This is the settings file, uh, which is very important for us. We often come back to this place and open this file just like this. Get it and settings, something like this. And uh, we'll try to add whenever we create an uh, app, web app. Uh, it's an app is a short name for the application so whenever we create a web application we just come here and um, try to install it by simply writing the name of the application within the codes separated by the comma uh, and let you know how, how to do that later when I 
but uh, so you just have to remember uh, this file settings uh, which is very much useful whenever we want to install web application a web app is none other than a web page or maybe a blog or maybe um, um, kind of uh, you know uh, a set of instructions which executes a particular task over the website and then we have another file called urls this is a place where we have to mention as and when we erect a particular address for a maybe f as in the form of a page or maybe portal maybe part of a page or it is uh, it deals with uh, uri uh, that addresses a particular place in the website okay you can just uh, open that with gedit because i like gedit it exactly looks like so here this is the way we deal with the urls it is actually a regular expression uh, in the uh, the way we use in python programming language every regular expression starts with uh, r uh, and the name of the expression should be um, uh, floated within the quotes and this is the address of the of the that particular uh, url address um, so whenever we uh, try to deal with a web page or a portal it is it, it, it just goes something like this and uh, sorry it just like you know local host mm, and uh, some port then admin something like this so this is what is this part of and and, and i may come up with uh, a particular web page called personal or i can come up with a particular um, uh, page web page called maybe blog so this particular part of the url is what is the the portion of the first part of this uh, statement which is uh, dealt by the uh, statement url so in this entire statement this is actually a function uh, which is um, uh, written uh, using the python programming language uh, so in this function we the function as usual starts with uh, parentheses and ends with the parentheses with a comma uh, this comma is very important to separate this uh, particular statement with uh, from the other statement so this is the part of the url which uh, goes here so that is what it is so um, next time when i'm i'm i'm, dev uh, I'm uh, um, creating a blog and blog is the name that goes here and I have to spot out the the place of that blog in my folders here this is actually uh, a folder admin in which there is a folder called site and in which there is a file called URLs something like this so this is another file which is very important here for us to and WSGI this is actually I mean we don't uh, uh, they do anything with this file uh, I mean maybe in future we require this but for now for basic web development needs we don't deal much with this file um, there will be another file called views of course that is not important inside our website mm, uh, folder but uh, as and when we we install an app then perhaps we have to um, create another file called views and and we try to define how a particular web page need to look like so for time being uh, let us uh, run the test server uh, which means a default website which is already there for our um, um, I mean visualization so let me go back I should go to the place where I have this file manage.py now I can come up with this is since this is a Python uh, source file I need to use the command python or python3 whatever it is manage dot pi run server and now I think I should go for yeah there will be so what I need to do I need to use super user do I mean admin privileges I can rather go sudo and then press ok so this time it will give you an error message don't worry about that 
mm, it is trying to talk to us about the migrations we don't need migrations the very first time when uh, when we are running the test server uh so there is another i mean little more information um about what version of the zango that we are using and uh, the settings file location of the settings file as just now i talk to talk about this settings file which is there inside the folder my website and the the zango is trying i mean started the server uh, at this address so you can copy this or you can also just so when you finish uh, your work in the browser then you just have to come back here and and execute the control c in windows it will be control break uh, alternately both works but go to the browser then here control c i mean paste your address this is how it looks like i mean it worked Congratu congratulations on your first zango power page something like this uh, but uh, you know the recent versions of zango has a different view but you don't worry about this if you get this uh, message it works something like this so the zango is installed appropriately in your system and it is working for you now you can start developing the web i mean you can you can start creating a website and creating applications inside your website and and direct the um in, in inflow traffic to different i mean you can design all your you can put all get all creativity into the work and start designing inside your brain and then implement all your creativity by using the zango okay this is the very first tutorial that i would like to make and this is not uh, the very best of its kind and all this information is there online and there are number of tutorials uh, uh, online you can just choose to uh, watch any one of the tutorials since i would like to create a further video cast which uh, specifically related to the data science and analytics creating dashboards both static and dynamic dashboards uh, the which are very important for the real time data processing so i thought of having my own webcast um, as how to start on as how to start uh, python zango in ubuntu operating system okay thanks for watching this video i hope you like my video if you truly like my video please press like kindly don't press unlike or dislike uh, subscribe to my video channel stay tuned for the new video thank you